You're watching WMAR 2 News. It has now been more than a year since a pregnant woman was shot and killed in Howard County and there's still been no arrest. Good morning, Maryland. I'm Christian Schaefer. It was July the 31st of 2020 that Marie, Maria Ahmad was hit by a bullet fired into a home on Dovecote Drive in Columbia. She was 28 weeks pregnant. She and the baby died. Howard County Executive have released some video of a car they believe was used in the murder. You see there it's an older white model sedan. That video is from Harriet Tubman Drive, not far from the home on uh, Dovecote where Ahmad was shot. There is a $30,000 reward for information in that case that leads to an arrest. And state police have a man in custody charged with possessing and distributing child pornography. His name is Robert Olszewski, and he is a cousin of the Baltimore County Executive Johnny Olszewski. Robert Olszewski was arrested in Essex and transported to a detention center in Anne Arundel County. Police say they found pornographic images on his electronic devices in an investigation that started back in March. He's charged with three counts, distribution, intent to distribute, and possession of child porn. The Baltimore County Executive Johnny Olszewski confirmed that Robert Olszewski is in fact his cousin and released a statement calling the allegations deeply disturbing and says he supports every effort to make sure justice is served. And the rising number of coronavirus cases has some parents concerned about their kids going back to the classroom. In fact, some families now want their children to continue learning virtually. But in Baltimore County, the deadline to enroll children in virtual learning has already gone by. The Board of Education, the Director of Learning, the Director of the Board of Education, the Governor's Office, I've just reached out to everybody I possibly can. Health experts predict the current surge of cases around the country is expected to peak around the time most children will be starting school for the upcoming school year. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Monday, everyone. On this Monday, tracking uh, ample sunshine out there, tracking comfy conditions, the next chance for some showers and thunderstorms in the forecast. Not today, below average temperatures. Something else we're tracking as we go through the rest of today as well. So I'm tracking a high today in the low to mid 80s before it's all said and done. And then we are watching dry conditions for the rest of today. Lots of sunshine on tap. Don't forget the sunscreen, the sunglasses. You will need those if you're headed out and about. If you're headed to the pool today, great day for that as again those temperatures will be a little bit below average. We should be at 88 degrees now for this time of the year. We won't see that until Friday, but before then Tuesday more clouds Wednesday and Thursday showers and thunderstorms are possible. Christian Chief Meteorologist Lynette Charles. Thanks very much. Stay with us online at WMR2news.com all day long for updates on top stories and breaking news for news weather on the go. You can download the WMR2 News app or follow us on social media at WMR2 News. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.